Hi guys and welcome to our YouTube channel Jody and Tricky where we're giving you some bonus footage right at the beginning, right before we start Tuesdays with Tricky. Yes, this is correct. So we decided we wanted to talk about air piercings. I well, think piercings in general. Yeah. So you know when you've been wearing your piercing for a while and you take it out? There's like this smell. Yeah, it's just really like pungent it's smell. Horrible. It's like it's not a dirty smell, it's more of like a gagging smell. Yeah, it definitely is. But how come those smells are like, that smell is... <laughs> <laughs> but even. it's like, your smell is the same <laughs> as my smell is the same because everybody who you talked about, like, the air grunge, <laughs> it's like they know exactly the smell. Like, it's like 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 a stable smell. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? It's a smell across the board. Uh, yeah, isn't that mm -hmm. strict? Because you're a different human. But like, what I want to know, right? Okay, I can't even manage this kind of has to end soon. Is like... How come people with like those big air piercings? Like, how does that smell? Well, it's a big hole, so it's clean. Like, it's not, it can't really grow anything on there. And I guess just wash it with a wash rag. Oof! So when you have a nose piercing, does it smell? I was smell? just thinking about that, and I was trying to remember when I had a nose piercing, like, if I could smell. No. No. Mm -mm. And I would definitely re-pierce my nose for sure. Yeah. I liked my nose piercing. I have, some, I, I have somebody who has a piercing kit at the yeah? house. They can do it, yeah. I wonder if it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want to purse my Call nose again. Kiki. I know, I wanted to purse my nose again. I think it looks cool and it goes like today with my vibe. Like today I'm very like, you know, heading to the club. No, today you look like Mariah Carey from the honey and video. It's just like honey. Hold on. Today we are drinking our Lady Bee Mixology cocktail and it is strawberry kiwi. What did she make this one with? Well, she made me a strawberry kiwi one too, but mine is alcohol free. But it tastes like liquor, so I feel good. Taste it. Let me make sure. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's some good juice. It's good juice, right? So I don't feel like she I'm put something up. extra in yours, or maybe I'm able to taste she put that a fake. Fake oh. alcohol in there for me. She said she saw how I was struggling. <laughs> I so appreciate that though. That's really that, that's like our good mixologist. You mm -hmm, know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She can like Alright guys, it is now 1.30, so we're gonna head live over on IG. And of course, Digicel's gonna give us some trouble. There we go, as I predicted. You know how they do. Ah, checking connection. Alright guys, so welcome to Jody and Tricky, and you can check us out right here. On YouTube. Hello everyone. Oh, somebody be Jody. Scatter Living, welcome. Hi, hey, Hi Jody. Jo. Hi everyone. Welcome, welcome. So we have a special surprise for you guys over on IG. We actually have been filming now for the past three minutes and we spoke about something super uber disgusting. I don't, I don't want to talk about it again. So you can check us out on YouTube for the repeat where you can hide where you can see exactly what we've been talking about. Hi and, guys. And I sang. So everybody, welcome to another edition of Tuesdays with Tricky where we take your mind off of what is going on outside of the closet and talk about foolishness while you watch me getting drunk. Today's sponsor, Lady Bee Mixology. Woo! Oh, oh, wait, hold on. So, chairs. That was us awkward chairs. Okay. Like, you know... Another game? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, Lady B, being the amazing mixologist that we're just actually talking to our YouTubers about this, um, she made me a non-alcoholic drink, but she put some, like, alcohol-tasting replacement in there. So it tastes really good. It tastes good, so I'm not <laughs> missing the vibe. So she said she saw me struggling every week. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry, I will never... Actually, I don't want to say I will never struggle again. I think if I got pregnant right now, I would, I would be... Up, but I'd make Sean promise me to redo the boobs. But I'd be happy. You'd be happy. I know yeah, you'd be happy, Jo. Yeah, I'd be happy. And Remy keeps on asking for baby, baby. She better hang on to those little plastic babies real tight. 
<laughs> so yeah, so I thought that was really great of Lady B. Yeah, that's really sweet. Was of her. that just Scott on here being like, make sure that's not alcohol? Yes, <laughs> Scott is here. Somebody say, hey, Scott. I Your Scott. foolishness is a vibe. We've got a real vibe going on. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. Let me see my bronzed goddess comments. Yes, what would Tuesday be without Tricky? I don't you know. know. What would life be without me? Don't you love me? Yes, Tracy, I love you. Last night, I was annoying Scott so much because he wouldn't tell me he loved me or kiss me or like hug me up. And then he just go <laughs> he goes like this. I love you. I love you. I love you so much. I love you so much before I did. <laughs> <laughs> Well, that's one way to solve it. That's definitely one way to solve it. He like pretended to be dead for like two minutes. He was just like this. <laughs> yeah, because you're you're overbearing. I know I'm a little needy. You're so needy. So let's talk about Tracy's YouTube video. Tracy premiered on yesterday with her very first YouTube video, Cooking with Tricky. And what were you making yesterday? Oh yeah, you were doing like a little I meal. Did, I did shrimp. I did. Shake and bake shrimp, mm -hmm. which I use the extra crispy shake and bake, and I did the quiche, and then I just mm. put together a little salad, and it was really good. Levi helped me. I never would have thought that um, the shake and bake, like I always use it with chicken. So when I saw using it with the shrimp, that was such a good idea, and then somebody had said to put little coconut flakes in there. And you yeah, get coconut, which I said that. Oh, buy the cabanas here. Oh. I was just thinking of them. Oh my gosh. I saw a really nice dress on Eris. I think her name is. I, I, okay, let's just get something straight. I will read your name, and in my head, I completely call you what the name they will say. And then when it's to come out of my mouth, I'm like... What's her name again? So I think it was on a recent little float away dress. It was so nice. Well, I loved my buy the cabana dress until I couldn't fit into it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> the belly got big. <laughs> Antonella is asking what you put in the quiche. You can check her out over on YouTube. Um, the video just posted yesterday. Make sure you drop a comment. And it did really well, Trey. You had a oh, lot of, you, you had the most um, live watchers. I think you got up to 68. And um, you have a lot of likes and a lot of comments going on. You too black, you girl. Thanks, guys. <laughs> but the same two bad man people that always dislike it by video, they head on over to yours too. <laughs> so I just want to thank you for your consistency. You know, that's, you have to appreciate that about those two dislikers. <laughs> Appreciate the consistency. Don't ever press the like button. If you are one of those dislikers, continue. Continue. We need you. Yes, we need you. Just continue. <laughs> to level us up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get a little scared when it goes to three, four dislikes. I'm like, yo, yo, now they got friends and shit. <laughs> just, just, you know, just stay the same. Yeah, yeah, just stay the same. And I hope you always stay the same. Because there's nothing about you <laughs> I would change. <laughs> Okay, talking about dislike, right? Mm -hmm. I want to get into something that has been all over the media since the premiere of it on Sunday. I did not watch it. Harry what? What? I went on to YouTube yesterday to find So remember on Sunday, I had Harry zero and help Megan. this weekend. Did you guys watch the Harry and Meghan inter oh, Oprah interview? No. Why didn't you watch because it? Because remember, I had nobody helping me this weekend. And then Sean had a little incident that he had to deal with with his family. So I was here alone, trying to bathe both kids, dress both kids, put both kids to bed. So it was just me. Fine, that's it premiered at 8 o'clock, which is well after bedtime. That's Levi's bedtime. Mm. He's a big boy now. Where can oh, I watch it? Mel Wint says you can watch it on Hulu. Hulu. Ah, uh, I think I have Hulu. Okay, thanks, Mel. So anyway, I just wanted to talk to you guys about this, my Jamaican crew. Because, I mean, I feel that we have a thing for the monarchy just being an ex- Because we're, an ex we, were, we, or we were a British territory. Being an ex-territory of the Brits. And so I feel like we have a thing for them. I especially feel like Jodie and I have a thing for them because growing up, William was born the same year as Jodie and Harry was born the same year as me. So mm -hmm. we always thought we were going to get married to the princes. Hi, mom. Hi, mom. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Miss Bees made a special non-alcoholic non -alcoholic drink for Tracy. Me. And I just want to say again, thank you, Miss B, because, you know, and I appreciate it so much. And I was thinking, like, you know, for parties and stuff, that's really nice to have an alcoholic vibe and a non-alcoholic non -alcoholic vibe. vibe. Yeah. Anyway. Mm -hmm. Um... So, somebody says, I believed everything she said. Me oh, red, yeah, with Megan. I, yeah, you know, I feel like she was, I feel like I want to believe everything that she said too. I feel like she was very relatable as well. Like a lot of the things that she said, mm -hmm. I can see 
Oh yeah, like so she said. So Megan came on, and Oprah was asking her, "Did you know? Did you had you done your research about the royal family? Like going in to meet the grandma? Had you done your research?" And Megan was like, "No, like yeah. who who researches their yeah. their person they're dating?" She's but not like, only that, but from what you see of the monarchy and the queen. If I was dating Harry, why would I need to further research her? I already know she lived on the pond. I already know she'd be in a big palace. What else would I need to research about her? So, so that's what Megan was saying. Yeah. So then when they got there, Harry was like, oh, do you know how to curtsy? And she was just like, wait, I have to curtsy to your grandma. Well, she and so she, and so she said that to, she said that, that was surprising to her because she thought that was something for the public. Oh, I think the she only didn't reason realize yeah. that it was like inside, inside the family as well. And but she, are you saying that now because you've watched The Crown? Because before the crown, I would think, I'm not for curtsy to my granny. Maybe no. No, I've never watched the crown. You've never watched crown? No. Oh, girl, you're missing out. But Megan was just like, yo, she didn't know that she would have had to. Yeah. So she's like, that was a little bit surprising to her that, you know, and, and Harry was like, yeah, yo, she's a queen. Mm. You know, you have to do these things. So, um, I don't like the color, the color questions. Like when they were like, oh, what color do you think the baby's skin would come out? You know, I want to play devil's advocate with that one because I want to believe that the question was not malicious because I want to believe the best in people. I think too that's like a, a question that just gets asked. You don't think that like... Well, I wonder what, what how, so how brown skin Yeah, is like be. I said that about my kids too, but I guess we didn't say it in like that, I wonder what color their skin's going to be. It was that's more like, like a, that's I was like, like I want it's yeah. gonna be a little browning. Yeah. So that's why I said I want it. I want to play devil's advocate and believe that it was the in best a, in in like, like a just good like way. a general query. What do you guys think? I need to watch a crown too. The crown is really good. Oh my gosh. Oh, what did mommy say, girl? What? I am royalty, but you don't have to bow to me. Okay, Drew. <laughs> <laughs> I just started watching the crown. It's actually good. I think William and Charles are the problem. Oh my bosh, I agree with you. I mm -hmm. think William and Charles are the problem too. I mean, and that whole thing. That's is not normally a question to ask, to ask to others, true. So I think I asked that in a like, a, you know, hoping that I'd have like co colored brown children, colored children. And I didn't do, uh, clearly I didn't do it in a malicious way, but I think, I don't know Trey, I think somebody asking um, Harry, who is white, and then Megan, who is kind of mixed. I think that was asked in kind of like a... I wonder oh. who... Not. Mm, definitely think it was. I wonder who asked it. I def Well, that was a question. I think it was Kate. No, they, it, so Oprah was getting at that. Who do you guys think that asked a question? Because Oprah was getting at it, and I think it was Charles. Yes, hold on, I like this issue. Um, with the issue of race still so rampant, it was always an issue. So it definitely was an insult, Sam Fitz. I agree with you, Sam. Sam, I'm Tiffany gonna... Samantha, concern is different from curiosity. True, true, Very true. true. Mm. Very true. I feel like I'm... I, mean, I think it was Kate. I definitely think it was Kate. I no, think Kate is a troublemaker. I think Kate is a little bit of a troublemaker with her stocking You think William asked? Too. William, the Queen... No, because... Um, no, because they said they the, came queen, out the Queen didn't queen, ask. They said the Queen and... The her husband. Mommy is British, and she said it was definitely said in a malicious way. Topic closed. Moving on. Because <laughs> she's Nana British. Has spoken. <laughs> she drinks her tea, so she knows. Okay. So it was malicious, and they need to f off. <laughs> Blimey, shouldn't have been asked. Very true. But anyway, I thought that. Let's get to the fun stuff. Yeah, let's get to the fun stuff. Anyway, I just wanted to say that their little ranch house or whatever they were living on looked very nice. That's all I want to say. And the fa yeah, the father's where the father came out today and was saying, oh, um, British people aren't racist. And it was just like a little joke. That father, that is exactly why you were excluded from the wedding. Okay, dad, because honestly, you are living in La La Land. You look like you'd embarrass her because even the things that you said were embarrassing. So, yeah. Mm, okay. But I want to get to another topic that Jody was very concerned about. Um, so this next topic is like, you know when, you know there's a lot of cake makers out there and cake bakers out there now, and they're making a lot of cakes that look very real, very yes. very real. Yes. So Jody is very concerned about these cakes that look like babies or look like animals. animals. And then you have to cut through them. Jodie's very concerned. It's weird. It's <laughs> completely weird. I'm sorry. Like, it's weird. Like, first of all, I guess at first, like, because I used to see the, the, the trends where, like, oh, and you have a baby and the bottom is up and, you know, you, you, you write on the diaper. But then when it's time to cut the cake, you're like, 
cutting up this baby. Yeah. I think it's weird to the point where now cake bakers have said that they're not going to do cakes of, of babies and, and pets because then you're like, happy birthday there, doggy. And there goes Rufus cutting half. It's weird. I never thought of it as weird, but I do think it's super artistic. Like I've always wondered as a baker when you've gone through all of that, how you can just like let them mash up your... Thing and yeah, it looks so good. Yeah, when the baker like takes their picture, then when you're mashing it up, they're like fifty grand. <laughs> so I know, and he eats a baby arm. I know, I don't know. That's kind of weird to me. Oh my gosh, talking really about weird. eating baby arms. So Remy, Jody just showed me videos. She has a little friend at school named Sev, and she's always bothering Sev. And so the other day, hold on, let's just tell him who Sev is. Shake that thing, Miss Kana Kana, my best friend's son. And Remy will not like stop harassing Sev. <laughs> you see Sev painting, and there is Remy behind him, like dragging his shirt. And then the other day, Remy was going like this to him. And <laughs> Stephanie is like, Remy, stop doing that. And Remy. She I pretend like, to eat his him. hair. <laughs> Leave Seb alone. Oh God, Remy is doing something else. So. <laughs> That's exactly how I used to trouble Canada. I used to always trouble Canada when we worked together. Yeah. So when I get these videos, I'm like, hey, Canada. <laughs> <laughs> but what's so crazy to me is how Seb and his sister really don't look alike. I don't think Levi and his sister look alike either. Levi and Remy do not look alike. No, I don't I think, see I think, any similarities I think Seb and his sister look more alike than Levi and Remy. I agree with you there. Okay. I agree with you there. Somebody was asking if we saw the cake where it was a man in a hospital bed and, and it was a cake. I don't no. know. As a baker, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I could do that. That's so... It's weird. Remy is so... Um, adorable. <laughs> she's also... She's cute. So, she's such a ragamuffin though. She's definitely a ragamuffin. Jamaican beauty says you're killing this look, girl. I'm heading to the club. What you talking about? I had on shoes, I had on heels. I'm going to post the pic. I had on heels and stuff and I was in my closet like, you know, and I don't listen to music. Don't you find that weird? I'm married to an artist. Like there's no... I I'm don't not, listen to music either. I don't listen to music. And you want to see me in here like a... I'll be, in, I'll be in my house a whole day silent. No, but I'll drive silent. No, actually, I don't I drive, drive silent. I drive silent. I drive silent, but I'm fully talking to myself like to the point where I get to the stoplight so I don't look awkward I'm like this yo so the supermarket I can't believe that man was in the supermarket what did he say to me again mm -hmm. oh, oh oh so I hold back up the phone mm -hmm. definitely but I think if you hold up your phone and talk on your phone when you get to the stoplight so window washers don't bother you as much what do you guys think they're, they're, they'll harass me regardless Jamaican Beauty says Tracy stand and show us your look okay Jamaican Beauty just mind enough over the chair Remy is so aggressive so, like you, Jolie. True. Going on. This is my. Watch it, watch it. My, my nip drop out. My nip drop out. Mm. Yeah, girl. Mm. Mm. These are my TikTok fans. Oh, Tracy. Tr Tracy fell into the trap of all of the ads on Instagram that talk about the TikTok leggings that make your butt look so great. What are you guys think? It's cheap material, but because it has like this geometric pattern, like this texture on it you, you don't see cellulite so of course the girls like it and then it has some ruching at the butt right here but they're 13 dollars oh and they're not that great well my pair do I look, look huge like so anyways great. guys i'm going to show you my pops so one in like every 300 women usually it happens when you're pregnant with girls gets this rash called pops can you see it put down for youtube so youtube can see it do you see it? It's like right here. The skin is that's from the leggings. Anyway, yeah, it really, really, really itches. Tracy, you look lovely. Oh, thank you. You look so, fantastic. It really, really itches. But you know what? I find that in the grand scheme of things, nine months is nothing. What are you talking about? I feel like this is way too long. <laughs> Elephants are pregnant for like two years. That's why I'm not an elephant. Mm. God knows what he was doing. Like, I feel like nine months is way too long, honestly. How far along is Tracy? I'm in my third trimester and I am 20... I shouldn't tell you. Somebody asked what's our experience like living in Jamaica as white Jamaicans. I'm not white. I'm not 
Bronin. Bronin. Actually, chromas, chromas. I'm 28 same. weeks, but I like when they call me Miss Chin too. That's when I feel really international. I don't know. I I'm like been called Miss Chin once, and I was like, do I look Chinese to you? I, I know, you know, you know how I feel about being Chinese. Been Wait, Antonella, does your vag stink yet? Pregnancy has like an odor in the vagina. Girl, what? Antonella. Is yes. that really? What kind of odor? It just smells like vagina. It smells like vagina. Well, like high vagina. Yeah. Ooh, vagina after sports day. Mm -hmm, Jeez. So like usually you know you take off your pants and it's like after long day you smell it. vagina. But now you smell it and it's like vagina. vagina. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, let me not, let me not, like, let me not, okay. So, I, Joe, I, you want to get pregnant again? <laughs> no, I don't want to smell like vagina. <laughs> oh, anyways, you guys. So, I just wanted to say also, thank you so much to everybody who has bought stuff off of my registry. I have tried to individually find you on the Instagram and tell you thank you. But for some people, I can't find you. I can't find you on oh, Instagram. Oh, yeah, because on Instagram, they have one name and then they've sent yeah. it in their real name. Yeah, so, I mean... Oh, that sucks. I know, I know. Mm. So, if, just please, if you've sent me something, can you send me a little Instagram like, message? Um, hey, Trey, I sent the blank. Well, example. yeah, because, because I really want to thank you guys. So Amazon does have your mailing address there so I can send you oh, a little letter. Okay, cool. Well, keep so, all of those yeah, little cards. Yeah, okay. I kept all of them. So I'm so, so, so thankful. Yesterday I got a big box. It's the crap from inside that's coming out. My niece is due next week and she noticed it too. Preg, preg badge stink. Oh, mm -hmm. that's what we're going to call it. Preg, preg badge, badge stink. stink. <laughs> no. But anyway... The link to my baby registry is in my bio, on the, in my Instagram profile, it's in my bio. And I'm so, so, so grateful. My helper came today Hi, and she just opened Stevie's door and she was just like, this is room, my blessings. <laughs> <laughs> I love Miss Rose. I think we need to do a Tuesdays with Tricky one day at your house and just like have Miss Rose in the background. Like the random <laughs> things that she says. Like, Miss Joanne, you're not going to eat some kalaloo. Come here, we'll cook some kalaloo. He's like, she talks so fast. Yeah, she does. She's a real country woman. But she's, honestly, Miss Rose's family to me now. Like, she's so... I just love... She just loves me so much, and I love her so much, too. Yeah. Anyway. I like that she always brings you... Are you about to cry? You love Miss Rose. I do love Miss Rose. <laughs> she sends me things, too. Um, oh, somebody from New Jersey checking in. New Jersey... Do you like being pregnant? No, she doesn't. She's got everything wrong with her. She got the pups. She got badge stink. Would you like that? <laughs> Would you want that? If you want the badge stink, you go get pregnant. She don't want no badge stink. Listen, she don't like being pregnant. Scott loves everything about me. <laughs> she never asked you about Scott. When you're reading to Remy at bedtime, I see the little blanket and I was just wondering, oh, that was a gift Um, that says Remy? Oh, sorry, Antonella. I didn't read the first part of your comments. I don't know what you said. There's a little blanket that says Remy, and that was gifted to us from... It's a crap... Oh, no, no. We read that already. Um, my girlfriend, Carly Ogaki, she just had a beautiful little baby herself, and she gave us um, that blanket. Lala also gave a blanket. Remy likes a blanket. They sleep in AC. Them stush, you know? I'm picking them stush. Mm -hmm. Do you breastfeed? Who? Um, oh, sorry, sorry, zoned out. So, <laughs> sorry, you must be talking to me. So, on Sunday, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna address I'm the whole breastfeeding the question. No, put it back. Okay. I'll address the, um, the breastfeeding question, Antonelle. No more questions from you, Antonelle. You're cut off. Your is like, I, I, don't know, I, I don't know, but I, I always zone in on her questions. Um, like the badge smell is the first I'm hearing about this. Yeah, I don't think a lot of other women would like mm. to talk about it. <laughs> um, I had a twin. I dislike everything about it. I had a twin. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't know if I want a twin. A sister is cool, but a twin. Like I just find like it's too much of a comparison. Cause already for sisters yeah. there's a comparison. So imagine if it was a twin, you'd be like, well your eyes are further apart. Well you're the, and then you'd feel like oh, Jordan gets she doesn't into have a cash. Your eyes right are now. further apart. <laughs> Mm. Um. Oh no, I don't have a cash app. I'm just a regular. Toronto in the house. So anyway, Easter time is fast approaching, 
I love Easter. It's, it's my favorite time of year. Or does each Easter reach when spring is here? Like they some 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 time in I feel like Easter comes like when you get holidays from school for Easter. And you're mm. on Easter vacation. Mm. Okay, okay, cool. Okay. So Easter is actually my favorite time of year. It was also Grandma Marie's favorite time of year. Mm -hmm. And the reason why I love Easter so much is because we find out that Jesus is alive and so we're celebrating. He's risen. He's risen. Mm -hmm. But yes. Him dead and come back. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So we find out Jesus is alive. So we're partying. And I find because we're partying for Jesus, because he's risen, they have some of the best, best food during Easter time. <laughs> like peeps. Like those little chocolate, Cadbury chocolate things. Like bun and cheese. What, Jesus said those? Yeah, yo. He I hope did. Nana is not here. She's going to get so upset. <laughs> Jesus did not send peeps. Dude, he did. When he, when he came alive, it? the chickens... Cadbury is godly. <laughs> when he came alive, the chickens were like... And he was like, oh, mm, mm, let mm, me mm. give these to the people. Okay, okay. And then, like, we have Easter lunch and stuff like that. Tracy's Instagram handle is Tricky Stew. And no, it's not. It's Tracy Sorry. Stew. T R A C I S T E W. Fish and bun. So, like, 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 like bun. So, Wendy, have you have you had your first slice of bun yet? I did. I had it today, just really? downstairs at your house. I bought, and this is my second loaf of bun. Do you call it a loaf of bun or just a bun of bun? So, this is my second bun of bun. And, um, yeah. But they like, haven't even come out with the Easter bun collection yet, Jody. What do you mean? What is an Easter bun collection? I just find Easter bun is Easter bun. What do you mean a collection? No, bun? Jody. The company's come out with a special recipe for Easter time. Where that they... is it. It's not spice bun that I'm eating. It's Easter bun. Oh, yeah, the company's come it's out. It's called Easter Bun. And they put more fruit and more, more love yeah, yeah. and more. And it's usually softer. And it's just, yes, it's a little softer. And tastier. Yes. And you eat it with so, do cheese. you guys have like a favorite brand of bun? Like, that is a bun that you're buying, like, even when, like, you a pack of bun. When you get a pack of bun from your employer or from a friend and it's like the brand you don't really like, you know, are you not going to eat it? Like, you are, you have your bun brand. I remember Auntie Pat, God rest her soul, with who used to wear all the jewelry. You remember she used to make yes, a bun? Yes, and, oh, she made a bun. I wonder if Auntie Bev would give us that recipe. That's Chrissy Coas's mommy and um, Auntie Mommy's Bev. Mommy's aunt. Yes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. she, she, she made a wicked bun. I can't believe you remember Auntie Pat. She always used to have a lot of jewelry on. I have one and of her long rings. Names. Really? Mm -hmm. Oh, you got one of her rings? Yeah, Auntie Pat liked me. Ah, mm -hmm. Emily, Emily, you are my girl. HTB, I love a HTB bun. I like um, the honey bun bun. Honey bun bun is really good too. It's very moist. And it has um, a lot of stuff in there. I like that. I don't like too much stuff, which I think is why, um, why I pick, hmm. Maybe we should have a bun eating competition. No, girl, me can't manage that bun dense, you know. If we had a bread pudding competition... Well, that's true. That's true. Bun is so So, Win Lin says she likes yummy bun. So, let's explain to everybody who is not from Jamaica what bun is. But it has to be. So, if we do a bun competition... Oh, Win Sam says she's making bun this year. Watch it. All right, Winnie, Win. better go dry, you know. <laughs> she's no Winnie can make. Yeah. Remember, she makes a banana bread. Yeah, but I have to give her a... Oh, a, like a, a little... Hoo, hoo, yeah. hoo, 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 hoo. So, Easter bun is like our... Um, traditional baked product that we have in the Easter season only. So mm -hmm. you can get other versions throughout the year, but at Easter and Easter time only. Yo, the bakeries like take this very sacred, eh? Because mm -hmm. you won't like see November and Easter bun is out. Mm. It's actually called Easter bun and it's like a brown sweet bread. Slim Slimmer says she hates bun. Well, Slim Slimmers with a name like that. No, <laughs> where? <laughs> where you thought you were going? <laughs> Leave the bun for those of us fat. <laughs> and it's like how Trinidad has hot cross buns. Um, so in Jamaica, we have Easter bun. And it's like a brown sweet bread. And it has raisins. It has cherries and the green things. What are those green things? Um, I don't know. Uh, Drew, is, uh, Drew is asking a question. Hold on, Drew. I'm trying to find out what your question is. So nobody described the smell. Bye, Drew. We're over that. The We're smell. on. The well, smell Drew, of Easter bun is delicious. Right. <laughs> Do people still eat Sprat at Easter? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Sprat with Easter bun. Yeah, yeah, for dry fry the Sprat. You know what, though? 
I don't see Sprat as readily available as I used to, and I think that's maybe why what it's not as... What are you talking about? No shoes and has Sprat all the time in the morning. All the time? Yeah. Oh, you and mean cooked? No, I'm talking like you buy your own Sprat to fry. I don't want no anybody man. else frying my Sprat. No, man, there's Sprat available. Really? Yes, yeah. Yo, that. I remember when I was pregnant, I came home one Easter, and Sprat was frying up in the kitchen, and I felt so sick. Best believe it, it eats Dude, sprat I can't, though. I can't, I can't, I can't stand the smell of fish. And Scott the, the, loves the fish. fry sprat, it did smell well raw. I was like, Miss Arlene, you guys cooking fish? She's like, oh Lord, Auntie Jody. I just went upstairs and stayed in our room, but. Like, I, Scott had fish for dinner on Sunday. Scott had fish for dinner on Monday. Scott had fish for dinner last night. Scott loves fish. And I used to be a pescatarian. So like, <laughs> but I think, but, but now that I'm fish pregnant. Is cooking. No, it's the smell. smell. Really? I can't stand it. So what do you eat? Well, last night Scott did the um Scott did his fish and I just did my big um pak choy salad. So I just ate pak choy salad for so Scott had fish and pak choy salad and I just had pak choy salad. Mm. So I see some people say Raytown. Actually, is there a special yeah. woman? There's a stall in Raytown that have sprat, you know. Um, let me not say anything more because I don't know the invita invitation. I don't know the information. Um, not necessarily might be mixed peel. Yeah, on the bun. On the bun. Oh. Yeah, mixed Sorry. peel. So mixed peel, the real, the real chang. Mixed peel is um like the rind of the orange and stuff like that that they've soaked in sugar. If I'm right. Oh I love Lady B, you know. I really love her. I know. I feel drunk off of my non-alcoholic one too, and I feel Ooh, so good. Settle down. I know, but I feel like I'm finally in the party, like I'm joining. Oh, you're in the party? Okay. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. In fact, I'm going to wash out my Lady B bag juice just in case. <laughs> For next you week. wash out the bag and keep the bag? <laughs> okay, cool. I could be cool all the time. Well, it's a, it, is, it looks like a reusable bag to me. Mm -hmm. The green things is mixed peel. But what is a mixed peel? What is a mixed peel? You're telling me it's mixed peel? What is that? A peel of what? A mixed She just answered it. What? It's actually dried cherries. cherries. So continue reading. I there was a full stop. <laughs> so she just stop. respect the full stop. <laughs> so you dye some cherries green? Mm, yeah. Sprat is sold in the supermarket. Sometimes I see it in Hilo. I'm gonna get a I'm gonna get a pack. And they sell it in my in general foods where I go to I think I may be going up there tomorrow. But okay. general foods I find has the best meat. Mm -hmm. Depends on what you're looking for. I find that um, you may have to go to a couple different supermarkets to. Um, Can we order Lady B in the U.S.? I think she was um, she was trying to get her um, shipping together, you know, to get to the United States. Yeah, because she'd have to organize a lot because you don't want actually no the the the, the liquor in it would kind of cure. No, it's fine. It's fine. Yeah, but she'd have to. Okay, so. She, stay uh, tuned. She, stay tuned for that. She does have cider, and the cider is available at the commissary. So I cannot wait to bust up a Lady B cider once I drop this baby. That's not how mother say it. Sorry. Once I drop this baby. <laughs> <laughs> Citrus peel that is candid. Okay. Portuguese eat sweet bread at Easter. It's delicious, but there is a cinnamon sweet bread which is amazingly heavenly. Oh, oh. they do? My neighbor is Portuguese. I should try that for her. She would love that. She's such a good girl, Sandy. So do you think that like around Easter time that bun is more prevalent in couples? <laughs> Well, we went from bun to bun. Bun to bun? Bun fi bun? I don't know. I wonder how it's going to go. Landy, congratulations on your oh. little boy. Congratulations. Landy, congratulations on your bun in the oven. Ah. Ah. See, Easter is a time. Easter, Easter is, is a time. time. Easter is a time. Call embassy and sort out, Lady B. We are called embassy. <laughs> Jody look thick. It's a ruching. Yeah, she looks good. She looks good. Tricky has to look. But Jody, look hot today. Look Tricky hot has so many day. foreign neighbors. Yeah. Yo, you're going to Tracy's Ark. <laughs> Yo. You know when they're like, I'm uptown? Oh my gosh, it's like you drive through the gate. We're having a poor connection. Because they didn't want me to talk about uptown. Okay. <laughs> you drive through the gate and you say hi to the security. Good morning, Mr. DeCastro. <laughs> 
Then you know you see the a... beamer and the bend That's not true. and the other things you That's can't pronounce. Then you're true. taking the elevator and the guys Where like, where are you? The guy's like, Oh, <laughs> good morning, Mrs. Henriquez, second floor and I'm like, Oh good morning, Chappy and Chappy <laughs> takes us up. Chappy. And then I said, Ah, right, good morning, good morning and next uh, Joe, you want a coffee? No thank you, walking down some more. No, that's not true. I have the best neighbors though. So I live in a small complex and um, the community that we, we is very, very small. So we all know each other. So my neighbors are literally the best. Like I have Mason downstairs and she brought up banana porridge over the oh, weekend. Well, well, I would like Mason to know she needs to make me something because I keep hearing about this porridge. Yeah, Mason is the best. And then I, and then um, she has her little girl and uh, but my block is a lot of children, so that's why we all know each oh. other so well because the children like play together. Yeah. Or, like, all of us, Nyla comes over last night, Auntie Tracy, I had there's a clip in my hair. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I see, when Levi visits, he just goes next door and then yeah. he comes back with slime, Mommy, look what Nathan gave me. I'll be like, Yeah, yeah but you don't take things out their house. <laughs> and Emily, um, Mason's daughter, she's two, but she knows my name, so she said, Tracy. Tracy! And I can hear her and I say, hi. How old is Emily? Two. Oh, Lord. And I say, oh, hey, Emily, how are you, how are you now? How you doing? <laughs> so cute. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh. Anyway, so my block is very, we're very, we're very neighborly. Yeah. Well, that's good that you like, you're close to your neighbors because then you can like ask for favors or oh help, gosh. you know. Mm -hmm. It's the so, best. And it's always, it's, it's always good to, you know, be a good neighbor. So, you know, because you can look out like, hey, I'm going out, watch the house or watch the kid or, you yeah, know. Yeah, it's, it's just very, it's a very lovely it's environment. It's very good to be good to your neighbors. Just saying. Let it stay there. Okay. <laughs> and now, a word from our sponsors. Mm. Feels so good to be a part Jody, of let's see your outfit. Let me put back on the shoes. Hold on. Let me put back on the shoes. I had to pack them away because, you know, I'm very crazy. Yeah, all the time we have to share for um share groceries with my neighbors. So anyway, I wanted to ask you guys something because Jody said I don't really watch a lot of um the news, right? I could only put on one shoe. Wait, my foot is not high enough to get to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> so we have this brown party dress. I don't want to tell you where I got the dress from because I've already complained about that company. But it was when they used to be cheap. So we have this brown caramel dress on my once caramel skin, but now it bleached out because I don't wow. go in the sun, so I'm yellow. Wow, that is a TikTok movement there. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's enough of that. Oh, rude, 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 rude. Wow. Okay. I like to practice dancing in my cupboard. So you've clearly been practicing a lot. Yes, man. You have to work your thighs in, and that's a good way to work your thighs. Work your thighs. Yes, can you have to hold thighs. up this bumper, man? You haven't seen my bottom? My bottom is huge. Girl, you need to better start dancing. Woo. Woo. Oh, Jesus. Somebody says your arms, they look good. Thank Drive you. Thank you. Drew. Sit up, sit up. I lift tiles. Oh, I can't wait till I can oh. go to the gym again. Yellow Jody, yes, guys. I call it chromas, okay, chromas. My girl, don't worry. Sean Paul, he actually just left. He has a couple interviews today, so he's gone to the foot. studio. That's what I'm looking at. Sorry, I have a question. Coolie girl wants to see a bump. Oh. It has pops. <laughs> <laughs> but there she is. Are those heels Michael Kors? No, they're. Why, Ellis? Just joking, no, just joking. <laughs> they're um, YSL. They're actually really comfy. Uh, like that's why I thank, went to go and get them. Thank you, Annie Sat. Tracy, you look so good. You see, I think so too. Like, even though you have the pops on your belly, you still have a beautiful belly. It's nice and round and nice. Well, I'm like, a good girl. What do you mean you're a good girl? Tracy, getting big, yes. I know. Stevie, getting really big and nice. Um. So yeah. So. 
you know, I was saying earlier that I don't really watch too much of the news and the reason to being is that I find it very depressing if you sit down at 7 p.m. and watch the Jamaican news. So I just read articles here and there and whatever. Um, loop is oh, yeah. actually... Oh, that one. But Jodo was saying to me that people have been really mean to police lately. Yeah, so... It, have you guys so, noticed that? So I've been seeing where... It's not of late people being mean to police. I find that there there are some people that... They're just very disrespectful to police. Like the whole thing. Like I find it's very like Bon Babylon. Mm -hmm. I understand you want to look cool. And I understand you want to smoke your weed and not be bothered. And I understand the whole saying from the songs. Bon Babylon, whatever. But then there was um, Helsha... I don't know. I don't remember what they call him on social media. Helsha guy or Helsha man. And he was cussing off the police, like cussing, cussing, cussing. Then there was a lady today banging on the policeman's bonnet. And I just find that if there's people around you who are in a position of authority, that we need to respect them. And even if it may be a one little security guard, still, they know what they're supposed to be doing in that. Like, just receive, the man has said, let me take your temperature. We are cussed with him about temperature. And you can't wear masks mask because he's asthmatic. Like... Come that's on, man. That's job. Yeah, yeah, he's that's doing his job. job. Yeah. Like, I just find that if there's people, you know, in that position of authority, just show them some respect. I agree. Especially the police. I find that the police in Jamaica have a very, very hard job because I just find that we're so disrespectful to them on a whole. And it's just, it's so not necessary. Like, you never hear people say, well, Levi says it, um, I want to be a policeman because it's almost looked at as, like, not the profession you're supposed to be. You know what I mean? And I can't, I can't deal with that. I think that the police and our teachers, those are, should be some of the like highest paid jobs yeah. and the most respected the most jobs respect, in the yeah, land. The most respected, yeah. You know what I mean? Like, why, why are you I just... Dirty Babylon, I pull me over in a seminar and speed it. And then you see these fights and arguments happening. And you want, I like the one where the, the man was um fighting the policeman and he was like beating up the policeman and the policeman tried so hard not to pull his gun and not to shoot that man and people were commenting policeman weak the policeman took his gun and tried to keep the man from friggin like getting his own gun like how can how, how did he not end up dead did I you don't see know. that video i didn't see it i didn't it's see crazy. it but i really do i do we feel get sorry. away with murder here with how we treat our 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 police figures and i hope some police are here today that if you ever pull me over, like yo you're on our team don't let me <laughs> off the hook you know? I, I have to agree with you joe that i think a little bit more respect could be given to our um to our to the policemen to the system out there yeah um you know and that just goes to a lot of what we want to say what we try and instill every week in everybody that's on the show is to be a good person inside yeah and show that goodness on the outside to other people because you don't know what people are going through you don't know this is their job this is what they've been told to do and sometimes things are difficult for people but if you act with kindness yeah. and respect towards everybody you will find that you actually do go a bit further and the communication that you yeah. will get from people the level of communication you'll get from people acting with love kindness and respect towards them yeah. will be of a higher level because you are you're just connecting on a different yeah. vibe yeah so the aggression that you bring mm -hmm. is so not it's necessary not, yeah. somebody was saying that if it was a situation like that in foreign the person would have been shot like i don't know how many people um you know watching from foreign have seen the video but a police and a civilian were in an argument and the civilian was like pushing and shoving and it was about a minute of a brawl and the policeman at the last three seconds grabbed his gun but when he grabbed his gun he kept it behind him you just said this a while ago i'm just you know i like to talk about the same things twice but you I know just, what i think i also think that we here in jamaica in our small island need to stop watching american tv so much and bringing it to our island like we should only be watching shows like the bachelor because that's one show that's good to watch can't believe that michelle is still there like michelle like i cannot believe that he chose michelle over brie okay Seriously. you should be a dj people drop some hearts if that was not the smoothest transition <laughs> ever like honestly <laughs> Crazy. I know Jody hates talking about The Bachelor. <laughs> he hates talking about The Bachelor, but I'll give you two minutes. Yo, how did he choose B Michelle over Brie? I don't even know. 
Like, Brie was just so cute and I loved her dress last night. Oh, wow, she looked hot. Yeah, Rachel seen, I, you know, the, I don't know, the last two. Anyway, he looks like a little, he looks like the paper clip from, from Word 1998. Remember that paper clip? That used to come on the screen. <laughs> With the big eyes. Yeah, that's how he looks to me. Anyway, guys, I see you've all been like, you know, saying how beautiful I look and you like my bronze goddess look. So I did try a... What did you just do? I have no idea. Doppy push you? I think so. Hello, my lady. Get rid of the doppy. So I tried today. I have not worn lashes in probably... Oh, no, I've been on a photo shoot. I haven't worn lashes in a long time. Well, today I'm wearing my Lemora lashes. They sent me a few different lashes. Their packaging was great, really great. And they have some really nice lashes. So here we go. They have um, mink lashes. They can last if you treat them good. Cause you know sometimes people don't treat them, lash them good. Um, if I treat them good, they can last 25 times. They have various lengths and styles so for different sure eye shapes and preferences. All of these are for you because they sent six and two applications. Okay, Tracy. So I'm wearing... Wow. This is what <laughs> I want to show you. Here's the empty box. <laughs> So I'm wearing the Aphrodite lashes today. So this I is find packaging <coughs> showgirl. Um, they are high quality mink. The texture is fluffy and feather like, which makes them super comfortable on the eyes and lightweight. They have a wispy effect, which give the eyes a soft, natural look. And I must say they're not heavy at all. I chose, I didn't choose ones that were too heavy. See that? And I actually didn't have to put on much Ooh. mascara. The only reason why I use mascara is to kind of blend it. Fancy. Lashes. Their packaging is so mm, nice. nice. But okay, I'm not going to lie. Are you going to put lashes on me? Lemoire Cosmetics. They have a couple, Um, let's go to their page. So they sent this, I think it's called whoa, a lash. Whoa, 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 whoa. Lash applicator. Look at these ones. I love those. Rich. No, I really love those. What's that called? Rich. I like those ones. But they feel so soft. Because <laughs> they're mink. So they have beauty, cosmetic, cosmetics, and personal care. Um, you can check out their page, right here on IG. Lemora Cosmetics. So they Dolce sent this thing. Pizza. Like a lash applicator. And it made a world of difference. Oh, put it down here. Usually I have a tweezer, but this thing was so easy and their packaging is great. I'm loving this rose gold. Oh, did I get... These are... I didn't know if... I don't know if I got for the YouTubers. These are... This is Fame. But they're so fluffy. They're really nice. And they feel nice and light. And what I liked about them, they came and they were, they were long. I had to click them. So that means that, you know, depending on your eye length, if you have wide eye, small eye, short Sugar. eye, long eye, you can cut them. Sugar. You can check out their page, Lemora Cosmetics. And you can see their prices and what so else they have. They have some. On me? Right now, you have on high eye, eye something. Got some lip gloss here. Got some. Ooh, so these no, girls are beautiful. So no lashes for me? No, why am I putting lashes on you right now? Where are you going? The supermarket to get dinner for your husband? It's not like there's anywhere else to go. This thing is like the bomb. And then, so let me ask you a question now. For the ladies out there so i take these off what how do i keep them for the 25 uses i know but i'm not telling you because you won't even put lashes on me not putting lashes on you right now why can't i get lashes wait you should have asked the lashes at the beginning of the show what do you mean why can't i get lashes at the end where of the are you show? going to go what, why do you care so I'm i have on my tiktok leggings i want lashes fine which lashes you want <laughs> Lashes you want. These are the lashes Jody wants to give me. <laughs> okay, let me put these on. So we're gonna take the sure. You too enough, man. No, I like those. I want Dolce Vita. That's for me. Fame. Put fame on her. Fine, I'm giving her lashes. Pass the scissors. It cut out the eye. So thank you guys. What I'll do is also, they don't. Ah, Miss, Miss Trace, you, I did try magnetic lashes. It didn't really work so well for me. So they come and they're like a really good size. Like, I think these are long. So what I'll do is I'll just clip off the first bunch. <laughs> Sarah James. 
It's called middle child syndrome. <laughs> Somebody say, go home and put lashes for your husband. Yeah, with my TikTok leggings. I can't believe you fell for the TikTok leggings thing. You're so gullible. What are you talking about? It, it, those are all ads, Tracy. They're not like real reactions. Those are all ads and you freaking fell for it. Really? Yes, Tracy. You're such a dingbat. High fashion, fashion for fashion. Uh, all right, so we're going to do what Remy's, when Remy's back to me, she says, Joe, Joe. See, you just hold it with the applicator like this. Like, oh my gosh, it's like a game changer. <laughs> Then you blow some lady bees, these strawberry kiwi breath on it. So, somebody you says, Tracy, me, when you pout, do you get away with your husband? Not at all. He knows all of my tricks. Scott knows how to manage, knows how to handle me though, I find. Just keep your eyes closed. And when I'm naughty, Scott spanks me. <laughs> so again here's the band and you can see that's really going to keep its curve nicely so I know that Tracy's eye is not this wide but it's good when you get lashes and they have this length this the band length to them because then you can customize them so I'm just going to cut off the first bunch of lashes sorry cut off the first bunch of lashes because she will what she'll do is she <laughs> so cute so I just this is the first or the second time I'm using this lash glue this is house of lashes I used this this morning myself I found it dried pretty quickly and it's black so it just looks like my eyeliner Jordi usually does my lashes for me once a year carnival day that's it well we usually go to two carnivals so let me squeeze by you you big body Jodi says she tried on the TikTok leggings, they did nothing for her. I'm like, um, that's because your body is already at maximum potential. This applicator is the bomb, I'm not gonna lie. Oh, okay, Trey. It's a lot of lash. Oh, you get glue on the hair. Oh. You're a whole mess. You got glue under there. So we would like to thank Lemora Cosmetics for this segment here. Oh wow, look at your eyes, they're like totally popping. I feel like I'm about to fly away. <laughs> yeah, but you know what? I think that like, you have green eyes. I think that once you put on a lick of lashes, that's all you need. Meanwhile, I over here with a full face <laughs> trying to... Mm. I have lash glue underneath. Is that because I put too much? Yeah. Oh, sorry. What do you guys think? So she has on the fame and I have on the Aphrodite. Fame! Let me, let me clean up this at the bottom here. Just with a little spit? Yeah. The lash applicator is so bomb. Yeah? Somebody says they love them. Wow. Wow, Trey. You can handle big lashes. You can handle it. I can handle big things. Took that to a whole new level, eh? Whole new level, of course you would. Jeez, I'm of his mercy. You did it so quickly. But I, okay, I find that this makes a big difference. I've never gotten a lash applicator before, but I'm, I'll definitely be using this. Mm -hmm. Like I just held on to the lashes and you just smudge them onto the, the baseline. The only thing was that I used like too much lash glue on you. But mm -hmm. I find that you're. you're... Thank well, you now guys. I want big lashes too. See, Shara James, when you pout, you get what you want. <laughs> wow. <laughs> like, listen for all children. <laughs> I don't know. Mike is going to be great. <laughs> oh. uh, what else? So we had, like, this little question. Okay, so Tracy, like, when she wants to, like, spice things up with Scott, this is a weird-ass game she'll play. Uncommon questions fresh conversations for couples like I just find there's so much for you to talk about with your partner that I don't need cards I find sometimes it's cool what is the worst place you have ever tried to sleep 
in a cuddle. What? Oh, good lord. Oh, sometimes I feel like you and Scott are the same person. Maybe that's why I love him so much. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Scott don't like to cuddle either. What is the worst? It's place? too hot. It's too hot. It's what the is same the, thing he says. What is the worst place you've ever tried to sleep? I'm going to have to say in the bed beside you because you turn the AC down to Arctic level zero and then roll up in the covers and don't give me any. And then I'm just there like this. And then you want to cuddle. <laughs> Remy's going down for a nap. What advice have you given to someone that made a real difference in their life? Don't cuddle me or I'll kill you. <laughs> um, I don't know. I find that I talk to people about life situations all the time. And I find that um, people take from conversations what they want that can help them. So I'm really not sure how I've help somebody's life, but I know I have. Mm. Yeah. And that feels good. What movies or TV episodes have you watched more than 10 times? Seinfeld. Oh, like an episode. Seinfeld, what, what about you? Like Little Mermaid, I've watched Little Mermaid. Oh my gosh, we've watched Little Rascals, that movie, about a million times. Little Rascals, yeah, that's true. But that was when we were little. Like nowadays, I'm not watching anything more than once. What sporting event would you most like like to attend? Sporting event? What sporting event would like? Well, something that's indoors in the air conditioning, and I have my own seat. That's not true. When we went to that Barcelona foot game, you loved it. That's true. But it was nice and cool outside. We had such a good time. And we were eating wheat gummies. Oh my gosh, it was the best. Okay, yeah, football with the hot girls. Guys, <laughs> what would you say if you could write a 140 character anonymous text message to yourself 10 years ago? Wow. What? What would you say to yourself if you could write a, a letter to yourself 10 years ago, an anonymous letter? I probably want to give me the formula to make Facebook. <laughs> Yeah, but no, it has to be or like, something. it has to be, oh, mommy says mention Mecca with Jamaica. Guys, if you're not following the Mecca Jamaica page, you can head on over, especially if you're a business. We have different tiers of advertising and we're going to be, um, we just dropped content from last week's show. So, you know, we're going to be doing lots of things over on that page once I stop being lazy. No, I'm just joking. No, I mean, the Mecca Jamaica page is actually something that I'm super proud to be a part of. Mm, you're um, welcome. <laughs> I'm the boss over there. And I'm super proud to be a part of it and it just makes me feel so good when we've had, you know, we've had some people calling us to be on the Mecca Jamaica page. But we want to create them like a nice package. We want the page to, we want you to feel special, you know what yeah. I mean? But it, it makes me feel so good that there's so many Jamaican businesses out there that are up to the time that we can help that with yeah. the advertising and stuff like that, you know? Mm -hmm. I just feel the Mecca Jamaica page is something that anybody who's Jamaican should be able to click on and be so proud of yeah. their country. Yeah. And I, I feel really happy to be a part of that. I do too. I do too. I think that we have... Uh, you want a hug? No. We can do a boom. Um, I think that, you know, you come to Jamaica, as I said before, Jamaica's an experience. And then through those experiences, we have these products and these things and these items that you can get and enjoy and love and feel like a part of, you know, you go away and you take this product with you and you can light the candle and feel like, ah, all right, yeah, cool. And it don't have to smell like, you know, it, it's just, Jamaica is an experience. Being a Jamaican is like an experience. It's, yeah. I love it. Yeah. So look out for the Mecca Jamaica page, like anything Jamaican that you we recommend that we love that we like we're going to share it with you and in a really nice way where and it is products that we do like and that yeah. we have used and that we would buy again or have bought again you know it's not just oh hair you know so it has to be of a certain quality like that's that's one of the things a lot of people have been linking us to do stuff with us and you know, we have to make sure that it's up to a certain quality because you, as our viewers, That's who are right. trusting us, we have to make sure that... Winlin, Jamaicans overseas can appreciate the page. Jamaicans mm -hmm. anywhere can appreciate the page and just see, like, that you are... And yeah, Winlin, you know, I mean, like, for the diaspora out there, it is Why so... Why do you keep saying to hug my sister? No. Stop. Oh, it's so weird. I love you. You only made my nipple show. 
I'd rather show my nipple and hug you. What? That's why the lizard did jump on you. That oh, time. gross! <laughs> August fourteenth. Oh, lizard jump on my back. <laughs> you remember the day? Yes. <laughs> First time lizard ever jumped on me. August fourteenth. I was mad the lizard jump oh. on you and not me because I was like, ah, oh, you know them say lizard jump on you when you're pre when you're pregnant. Anyway, I was pregnant. So yes. Um, Prince Alex 01, we do services as well. So mean. <laughs> August 14th. I, I like it too. And then I saw the lizard after, like it was on the deck. And I was like, yo, that's the lizard that was on me. So disgusting. But like Scott was on the Like I felt something on my back, like a twig, right? And it was like, Trey, is there something on the back? The way she jumped and hiked and gone back, I knew it was a lizard. Scott was on the phone talking about moving one body to another place, right? And then as I Scott, he's like pushing me up and I'm like, Scott! Then I go over to daddy, see daddy. With his cigarette. Daddy pushes me up. Of course, the lizard had long dropped off, but I mean, and then when I went and saw the lizard, it like living one dry bush for the past 20 years, and it looks scaly and nasty and. Lad. August 14th. Yeah. I was vexed because I was like, oh, does that mean Jody's pregnant and I'm not pregnant? That's what that means. Oh, God. Anyway. Can we do one more question? One more question one more before question. we go. God allows you to pick the 11th and 12th commandments. What do you choose? Oh, wow. Thou shalt never be broke. Hmm. I have to refresh myself on the first 10. <laughs> 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 oh yes, it's only twenty, so we can add two. Yes. Alright, thou shall never be broke. And I don't know. Mm. I don't know what the twelfth one That's what I, I don't know what the I, I can't remember all ten commandments. So you're not supposed to steal, kill, covet thy neighbor's covet wife. Covet thy neighbor's wife. So you can't give bone. Um Je being je je jealous envy. envious. Um yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 And regards my daddy, I'm not even, why did I know Tracy wouldn't know the person? Oh, somebody said, that's a good one. Thou shall not own slaves. That one was needed. Ooh, that would have changed the whole world. Yes, yo. That's Miss a good one. Okay, Christy. that's a good Very one. Good that's one. a good one. Very and good then one. What's after... Antonella saying? I, I'm scared to read what Antonella is saying. Tracy, oh, something about your eyes looking Oh, beautiful. thank you, Antonella. I thought she was coming in with a new commandment. Serve like... another God. That's one. Serve another Steel, God. We, we mentioned that. Yes. Um, yeah, we have... We saw... <laughs> Tracy, that was a heathen response. <laughs> we went through them quickly. Yeah, we went through them quickly. The air as well. Thou shalt take care of the earth. I Buying and catering, I like that too. So then what happened to the thou shall not be broke? Yeah, but I feel like you have to work to not be broke. I think that should be a value. Thou shall have uku. It was already blessed and granted. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, people would break them anyway, I agree. Mm. Mm -hmm. But that was still a very good one. That, that was, was a good one. That was a really good yeah. one about thou mm -hmm. shall not have slaves. Mm -hmm. Doesn't the Bible actually mention that? But because it's not a command. Jojo, Jojo, Jojo. Jo. Let's not. Let's okay, not. Okay, okay, let's okay. Not oh, into, okay. Let's not get into areas where we don't know. Okay, true, 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 true. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. Woo! Lordy, Lordy. If you haven't checked out already, make sure you go onto the Jody and Tracy. Sorry, Jody and Tricky YouTube page, and you can watch Tracy's um, cooking video that downloaded last night. Tracy cooks. Woo all right, with Levi, can, he was so yes, cute. Yes, Levi was really cute. Somebody commented and they were like, I just wish after he sneezed, he had washed his hands. And I wanted to get so upset at the person who commented and I'm like, it's so true. <laughs> but I loved how he was like, <laughs> I know he didn't need to elbow. wash his hands. He coughed in his elbow. That's where Corona in the elbow and none on the hands. Yeah. That's how it goes, right? Um, Dr. Tuftum? Dr. Tuftum on your hair. <laughs> 
Alright guys, so make sure you check out our YouTube page, Jody and Tricky. If you can't find it, just search Jody Henriquez. We're gonna oh, be and the recipe for Jody's belly butter is on there too. Actually, mm -hmm. the belly butter that I keep begging her for, the recipe is I on there. I just made it. I just made it. So you guys can check that out. It's done. Actually, that video was probably made last year. Um, and it's with Levi as well. It's very entertaining. And um, yeah, Fix has an exam. All right, guys, we want to thank you so much for watching and staying with us thank this you. week. Thank um, you. We had a great time. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Lady B Mixology, who whipped us up a strawberry kiwi cocktail today. Well, mine was liquor free, but it tastes real good. Yeah, she can keep her juice. Mine was better. And then we would like to big up to Lamar Cosmetics, who granted us some lashes, some mink lashes. All right, and um, yeah, that's it for this week, guys. We love you. Make sure you check out um, this episode you. on YouTube because we have some bonus footage at the beginning and it's really kind of, it's disgusting. It's very, I don't even want to talk about yeah. it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye, guys. We will see you next week. Bye, Tuesday. guys. Thank you for coming. Thanks for coming. Okay, cool. <laughs>